जय हिंद Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction. It's up Corbin. And it's just me today. Uh and uh today I'm doing a movie review uh of the new 2024 film Fighter. The highly anticipated Rithik Roshan and Deepika Padukone. Uh film uh directed by Siddharth Anand uh and written by him as well. Uh the big action Air Force Indian Air Force film um Rick couldn't be here and also this is not really his cup of tea in terms of style of film as you guys have probably seen in the past of big massive Bollywood films um so uh, but he couldn't make it uh today so it, it's just me today um sorry for uh Rick fans out there um it will just be my stupid opinions today but uh since this just came out we are going to do a non-spoiler review um just to not spoil it for anybody um so if you haven't watched it please go watch it and come back um it's in theaters now as you all know but um let's see let me get the IMDb up here so yeah i just walked out full of patriotism um I had heard before uh, the stupid babies and uh I had seen some people uh, like reviews post on on Twitter and stuff mixed reviews some loving the film some really not liking the film for whatever reason um and I can see I could see both as to why and like I said I don't I would lean towards Rick probably not liking this film I can't say for him obviously I don't know um so i can't speak for him in that regard but uh it has enough of the elements of stuff that he doesn't normally enjoy but i think overall i did enjoy this film um in comparison to what i went in with expectations for so i compared it to his other films war and patan um those were my expectations were somewhere in that middle and i think that's a pretty good expectation to go in with because i think it falls somewhere kind of in the middle i think this film is a lot more grounded than both of those films not to say this is a grounded film at all don't confuse that please um just in those two patan being a big massy film to the full extent i think the first half of that was really entertaining and a lot of fun but big and massy um war has rithic and kind of just mindless action not much story there i think this one kind of has more story than both um and less massy stuff but still massy stuff but gr more grounded in both of those and kept you engaged and i think a, a big factor in that was rithic Um I love Rithik's screen presence obviously he's a extremely sexy man. Um but he he really grounds it from especially in the beginning some like I don't want to say lack of a better term cringy dialogue between characters um and like it felt like almost a high school film and I'm like aren't you guys like adults in the air force like what's <laughs> what is going on here it settled down in in that regard. Um but it still had uh, a lot of but he was I think the biggest factor in that. Um his screen presence, his charisma, his chemistry with Dipika um was all really palpable and you, obviously you just want to root for Rithik because you can see so much behind his eyes and there's just so much going on all the time. And so that's what really keeps me engaged. Dipika as well. when i heard that this this film was going on i was like okay so we're going to get war but then you have rithik and dipika and so you know your performance is going to be good and that's true both performances are good um and kind of what keep you kind of engaged uh so i thought both of them did a very good job i think oh uh was something i was very surprised by and something cuz in the trailer i was concerned that the cgi would be a big distraction of this film and it wasn't And so that's great. Um there were a few moments that I was like okay that's not as good as some of the other moments are in terms of CGI, 
but it by no means was a distraction. So I thought the editing and the VFX team did a very good job in this of, of taking something that's never been done in Indian cinema in terms of an Air Force film, which is hard to do because it's almost all CGI, right? Um, I thought they did a very good job in, in making it not be a distraction. Um, it, and obviously I'm spending what a fraction of what you know Top Gun Maverick would have spent. Uh, and I have heard comparisons of Top Gun Maverick and the first Top Gun to this. I don't see it. Um, like the story's nothing like it. Outside, if you do an Air Force film with a big-headed pilot, you're going to get comparisons. I understand that. Yeah, so I don't, I don't really get the comparisons uh, to, to Top Gun at all. Um, I don't think that's that's an issue at all. Um, is this film like incredibly generic in terms of like its plot yeah yeah it is uh the stereotypical villain everything kind of falls in place that how you think it would um nothing like new to re outside of new to indian cinema yes there's some new stuff in terms of what this does for the indian air force film kind of stuff uh in vfx done that's new but in terms of story, no, not new. This is a full-on commercial entertainer um, that c- kind of goes over the same plot beats. And so, yeah, if if you're not into... I w- it is not as massy as Bataan at all. But if you're not into mass films with heavy levels of... I don't know the word that people call it, patriotism. It, it's very specific to Indian cinema in terms of how much they love their patriotic... And the patriotism in the film... This has a lot of it, um, which I, I don't mind. That's what it was going for, and so I don't fault it for that. Some people do. I've heard a lot of complaints about, you know, people with how they feel about that in films. Dialogue is also different for me. It's just on subtitles. It might sound different in Hindi. Don't know. Um, so, but the, it is incredibly generic in terms of, like, if you're like, oh, does this have any unique stuff? like plot points no is it more is the story it's kind of a double-edged sword is the story better than Patan and war yes but it's still not like this insanely amazing plot story at all it's just better than those because though each of those were going for different things that was just going for mindless action war and his uh, SRK was going for um, like celebrating Shabro Khan and um, really massy massy stuff this one um, I thought the story was kind of simple almost similar to the tiger films the especially the earlier ones um, in that aspect a little a little more patriotism than those but um similar in that story style some of the supporting actors uh didn't love it is a uh, mainstream hindi commercial film so you kind of got to take its lumps with it um in terms of what you can get i think the dialogue did them no service in terms of like the supporting actors and what they were told to do um which is where i think a lot of the issues rick would have had like i said i can't really speak for him but i think a lot of his issues would stem from dialogue and 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 stuff in that in that nature that would um, bother him a lot and bother other people um I think a lot of the action fight scenes were some of the most engaging with either where they were in the pilot in the um a uh, the pilot seat or hand to hand combat. I think there was very well done engaging um um direction done um for the fights. So I thought the stunt coordinator did a very good job there. Um I think the film could have been cut down. It's 240 something, right? I think. I think you could have cut it down to at least 220 uh, just to make it snappier. I always think that, though. Um, you don't want to draw it out. Um, but I thought the chemistry between not only the Rithik and Topeka, gorgeous people, hard to not be great in that, but um, Anil Kapoor, his chemistry with uh, Rithik was also very nice. Uh, another really good actor. Um, so that was um, lovely to see. Um, if I was to gauge a film in between Patan War... And this, War might have the best action. Patan, the first half was just so fun. 
But in terms of overall, it's hard to say. But this might be this director's best that I've seen. Still not my full cup of tea in terms of like genre of films. Uh, if I was to give it a grade, maybe like a six out of ten, still passing. Um, just and it was entertaining. Uh, I just sometimes just I wish for more sometimes um, from my films, even though the point of this film I think was just for a patriotic commercial entertainer. You can't fault it for what it was trying to be. It's just not everybody's cup of tea. And I get that. Uh, I think Indians will probably get a lot more of it than a random white dude in America will because of the patriotism factor. Um, but overall, I enjoyed it. I don't, I don't regret going to see it. Uh, I thought it was a, a, a good time with flaws uh, in it. Not for everybody. But uh, you guys can let me know what you think of the film. If you enjoyed it. If you didn't like it. If you, um, what, why I'm an idiot. And anything else I need to know down below.